person who a Gentile is. I'm trying to explain to him, but he was trying to explain it, but the brother kept talking. Read that. I respect what you do. Read that again. Um, hey, take a flyer. He got one. Yes, yeah, no, he got one. Alright, read it. Gentile. Gentile. Listen, bro. Gentiles. Come. According to the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. Gentile. Come, come, come. Gentiles mean usually. Listen. Come here, come. I want you to look. Come. Um, Gentile. Usually it means a non Israelite people. Hold on. You, you know what you did not hear? You didn't hear the usual part. Read that again. Gentile. Usually. What is, hold on. What is the word usually? No. The word usually Sometimes. All the time. Right. Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. So sometimes, Gentiles mean a non-Israelite people. That means there are times when you read the Bible and it says Gentile is talking about Israelites. That's, That's right. right. You understand that? Read that again. Gentiles, usually it means a non-Israelite people. So sometimes when you read the Bible, when it says Gentiles, yes, it means the Edomites. Yes, it means the Egyptians. Yes, it means the Africans. But sometimes when you read Gentiles, it means what? Israelites. Now, Romans 11, starting verse 1. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then. Now, find the part where it says grafted. Uh, let's see. Uh,
olive tree. Read on. Fair and of goodly fruit with the noise of a great tumult. Read on. He has kindled fire upon it. God was angry with this tree. Read on. And the branches. And he was mad against what? And the branches. So now let's find out biblically who are the tree and who are the branches. Mm -hmm. And the branches of it were bro are broken. So what happened to the branch? It was broken. So to put that branch together, we got to graft it. Let's see who those branches were. Three. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee has pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel. So that tree was the house of Israel. You know what? And of the house of Judah. And who? The house of Judah. That's what you don't understand. In the New Testament, when it says Jew and Gentile, the Old Testament calls it Judah and Israel. Right. Read that again. Read that part again. 17. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee. The who? What was, the, what was planted? The tree and the branch. Read on. Have pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel. So that branch was the house of Israel. That's right. And of the house of Judah. And that tree was Judah. That's Back right. Romans 11. Mm. Romans chapter 11, verse 17. And if some of the branches of be broken so, up. Stop. What is the biblical definition of the branches in Romans 11? No, no, no. What is the biblical understanding of the branch? We just read it, sir. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again for you. Hold on, hold on. Listen, not, I know some Christians, y'all don't like to answer the question. Christians don't like answering questions. Listen, listen. Read it again. Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 17. 16. 16. For Lord, for the Lord. of it are broken. So we're going to keep reading to explain what are the branches. Read. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil against thee mm. for, for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah. The branches are the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Right. So in Romans 11, when Paul says the Gentiles must be grafted in, it was the Israelites that were called Gentiles. Right. That's what Back to Romans 11. Romans chapter 11 verse 17. And if some of the branches be broken off. So who was the branches that was broken off? Israel was broken off. We went into right. captivity. Right. Read on. And them, and with them, partakers part, partake of the root. Of the root. Now listen, brother and sister. When you craft something, that means you put two trees together. Sticks. Ezekiel 37 and 22. Right. Listen good. Listen. When you read the New Testament, the New Testament, in a sense, is harder than the Old Testament. Right. Because the New Testament is written in a lot of similes and parables. So you have to have the Old Testament to understand the New Testament. That's right. And just like in a, in a textbook, you have uh, algebra, you have arithmetic, and you have algebra. You're not going to understand algebra unless you understand the arithmetic. That's like the Old Testament and the New Testament. You cannot understand the New Testament without knowing the prerequisite of the mm -hmm. Old Testament. You mm -hmm. understand? That's right. For you to understand global history, 10th grade global, you have to understand 9th grade global. Because it's the prerequisite or the basic step to get to that chapter. You understand? Read. Pre Christians, what they have done, they said, forget about the Old Testament. Read the new. That's dumb. Any book you read, you start from where? Get it. Read. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 16. Yeah. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick. That same stick is the branch in Romans 11. It's the tree in Romans 11. Sticks are made out of trees. You gotta understand that. When Paul wrote the New Testament, he wrote it very hard for us to understand it. Because, because the Bible is only meant 
for a few of us to understand. That's right. God doesn't want everybody to know it. He only wants a few select chosen individuals that become the nation in unity to understand the Bible. That's right. Three. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick. So this stick, you know, and write upon it. So when we have these sticks, this graph, we're going to write upon the stick. Right. You know, for Judah. Right. So we're going to write Judah on the stick, we you know? And for the children of Israel, his companions. So you see this 12 tribe boy? We wrote Judah and his companions, Benjamin and Levi. We you don't. Know? Then take another stick. Then you say you put this other stick now, we you don't. Know? And write upon it. Then you write on this other stick. For Joseph. Then you're going to write Joseph. Now, the reason why we didn't write Joseph is because you read the scriptures. Joseph is Ephraim. Right. He is Ephraim. Another name. You know? The stick of Ephraim. See? And for all the house of Israel, his companion. So when you look at the stick, you're going to have Judah. Boom. That's one stick. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Then the next stick is Ephraim on down. That's the 12 tribe breakdown. We don't. And join them. And what? And join them. The New Testament says graph. Join, graph, the same meaning. Right. Same understanding. Right. Paul just used a different word. We don't. And join them. One to another. So what? One to another. Why do we have to join them one to another? Because at one time, all 12 tribes were not united. So God told Ezekiel, in the vision of the valley of the dry bones, he said he saw Judah and Israel in the bones, in the bones, in the valley. And he said, wake them up, prophesy unto the bones. And the bones had the skin, and the skin, and the foot bone was connected to the knee bone. You know the song they make us sing in church? The head bone connected to the neck bone, and yeah, right. That's the church song. They got that from Ezekiel 37. Mm -hmm. And let's, hold on, go up to verse 11. Verse 11. Yep, verse 11. 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. So the bones that Ezekiel prophesied to was not everybody. Read that again. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. So the, the bones in the valley of the dry bones, that famous song we sing in church, those bones are so-called Israelites. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.